Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Mike sent me a story along with a whole bunch of other people about an update to something I talked about last week. And we were talking about how car makers can track you as you drive the car they built. So you buy a brand new car with all the infotainment and GPS stuff in that center there. And as you drive around, it knows where you are. And it turns out that they've been gathering data on you and selling it to data brokers. And one of the uses to which the data is put is that insurance companies get their hands on it and go, oh, look, look how you drive. <laughs> and so the fact that, that people's insurance rates are being affected by the information that their car was giving away behind their backs, and I don't mean giving it away for free, I mean they were selling it, but the car wasn't, the manufacturer was. And that upset a lot of people. And so, understandably so. And I talked about that, but what also bothered me about the story is that they kind of glossed over the fact that they can gather this data about you. It's not just insurance companies that want it. There's all kinds of other marketers out there who would love to know where you shop. And they'd love to know where you live. And they'd love to know where you drive. And, oh, you drive up and down this one stretch of road? Well, there's a store here we'd really like you to shop at. You don't shop there because we can tell. You shop over there. And so the cars can gather an amazing amount of information about you, not just your driving habits. So there was a big brouhaha in the news, and most people were focusing on the insurance aspect of it. And so here's the big news break, but this is actually not as big as people want to believe it is. This is from Ars Technica, and Jonathan Gitlin wrote this. GM stops sharing driver data with brokers amid backlash. Customers, wittingly or not, had their driving data shared with insurers. So this is talking about the data going to an insurance company. After public outcry, General Motors has decided to stop sharing driving data. After a public outcry, General Motors has decided to stop sharing driving data from its connected cars with data brokers. Last week, news broke that customers enrolled in GM's OnStar smart driver app have had their data shared with Lexus, Nexus, and Verisk. LexisNexis, of course, is a huge company that, that handles all kinds of stuff. And Verisk is apparently a company that simply handles data for uh, calculating insurance risks. Those data brokers, in turn, shared the information with insurance companies, resulting in some drivers finding it much harder or more expensive to obtain insurance. To make matters much worse, customers allege they never signed up for OnStar Smart Driver in the first place, because the choice was made for them by the salespeople during the car buying process. And I will confess to you that the last brand new car I bought, I walked out to the car after I'd signed all the papers, and the salesman goes, do you have any last questions? And, and, and I said, well, some of this I don't quite, and he goes, oh, no, no. And he jumped in the car with me. I fired it up. He pressed a bunch of buttons. And one of the things that popped up was the terms of service for the infotainment center. And he clicked it. He agreed to it, not me, but <laughs> I'm joking. I was there. It's, it's on me, right? So now, in what feels like an all-too-rare win for privacy in the 21st century, that data-sharing sh deal is no more. Now, keep in mind, and I'm going to read this very carefully to you because I'm an attorney and I read things very carefully. And it's important because what they're saying here is very little. What they're not saying is quite large. So GM said in a statement, quote, as of March 20th, OnStar Smart Driver customer data is no longer being shared with LexisNexis or Verisk, period. Customer trust is a priority for us, and we are actively evaluating our privacy processes and policies, end quote. So the second part is a feel-good sentence. The first sentence, however, what does it say? As of March 20th, OnStar Smart Driver customer data is no longer being shared with LexisNexis or Verisk, period. Who else are they selling it to? And don't, don't, don't say, Steve, you're being paranoid, because I assure you, a company like General Motors has got floors and floors and floors of attorneys. And I know that because I deal with some of them. They've got whole departments full of attorneys. And... With all the attorneys at General Motors, every statement that the company makes at one time or another goes through 50 different people, including public relations and marketing and legal. 
And so this statement went through legal as, as of March 20th, OnStar smart driver customer data is no longer being shared with LexisNexis or Verisk, period. So there is a um, concept in the law, expressio unius est exclusio alterius. The expression of one is the exclusion of all others. If I told you here's a list of things you can have, that's the things you can choose from. You cannot choose from anything else. It's not on the list. So who is excluded from the list? Lexus, Nexus, or Verisk. Those two companies will no longer get their stuff. Thank you. Nothing to see here. Everybody go home. What about everybody else? Now, again, you're going to say, Steve, what about everybody else? If they had said, we're not selling it to anybody, period, that would mean something. It's not what they said. That is not what they said. They said, we're not selling to these two companies. We care about your privacy. Thank you. Go home. <laughs> okay. They stopped selling your data to two people, two entities, for one particular reason. So they're not going to sell your driving data to these two companies. Who else are they going to sell it to? And I assure you, that's not a mistake. That's not poorly drafted. It's not a PR guy who's on a bender, woke up one morning, oh, I've got some homework to hand in. I got to write something here. As of March 20th, OnStar Smart Driver customer data is no longer being shared with Lexus or Nexus or Verisk. Oh, God, here, file that. No, no. There's a group of people sitting around a table going, everybody's freaking out about us selling the data. But most of the stories are focusing on insurance. How about if we announce we're not selling it for insurance purposes anymore? Well, can we do that and make it not seem so obvious? Yeah, yeah. We're no longer sharing with Lexus, Nexus, or Verisk because those are the two companies that were repeatedly mentioned over and over and over again in the different stories out there. Now, when I did my story, I said I'm concerned about that along with everything else because they know all kinds of stuff if they really want to dig into that data. And that stuff is valuable to people other than insurance companies, primarily marketers. People want to market stuff. And so will they stop selling it to marketers? They didn't say that, did they? They didn't say that. And now you might say, but Steve, maybe, maybe they were only selling it to these two companies. Then they worded this poorly because they then could have said, we're not selling it to anybody. So either they are selling it to other people and hope that no one catches this, or they aren't selling it to other people but didn't want to foreclose that as an option in the future. Otherwise, General Motors could have said, as of March 20th, the customer data is no longer shared with anyone, period. But they did not say that. So I assure you that some people are going to go, Steve, you're a paranoid attorney. I'm paid to be paranoid. And you'd be shocked at how often I'm correct as the paranoid in the room. And so I've talked about privacy issues in the past on this channel for eight or nine years now. And what's amazing is I'll make a call like this and a year or two down the road it'll come out and people go, oh, wow, do you remember that? You actually, you actually said that. So how much do you want to bet that we start seeing some stories now where people are going to go, was there anything else to that story? Were they selling our data to other people? Are marketers buying your data from the car maker? Hmm. Well, I can't prove it right now, but from being on the outside looking in and having worked with GM's legal, uh, worked with them in the sense that I've sued them and they've <laughs> sent an attorney to defend it, I guarantee you that this two-sentence press release was so well-vetted that every single word, every single jot, every single punctuation mark was gone over with a fine-tooth comb and somebody said, we will say we're not selling it to LexisNexis or Verisk anymore, and that should, that should hold them. <laughs> so we'll see, but Mike and everybody else, thanks for sending it from Ars Technica. Jonathan Gitlin following up. GM stopped sharing driver data with brokers amid backlash, but specifically, they only mentioned the two brokers. What about the others? Questions or comments? Put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. The way we act determines how we feel.
way more often than the way we feel determines how we act.